Greetings, Mary Isis here. And in this video, I will be talking about how to use this instrument, which is called a Shruti box, S-H-R-U-T-I. And this is a really wonderful, simple to use instrument for vocal practice and vocal toning and learning how to open the voice more and this can be a wonderful instrument to use as a daily practice for this purpose. So I'm going to go over some techniques of how I use it and also guide you in some simple vocal opening practices. And then I'll also bring in some rhythm to show you how to then bring in a little bit of rhythm with the tone and the vocal toning. So the Shruti box is basically an instrument that creates a drone. So these little slats open to various notes. Right now I've got it in the um, in a G chord. So I have the G and the D little um, lever thing open and it creates a tone. I can also change it to make a C chord. For now, I'm going to keep it in the G chord because I really like this range for singing in. And when you use a Shruti box and you're wanting to use it for your vocal opening, I encourage you to choose a key, a tone that feels the most natural to you. So, for example, if you were to just take a breath and release a tone, one that is most effortless to release out of your being. Uh, that would be my tone, but you could try it on your end. So take a breath in and release a tone that feels totally natural for you that doesn't require any effort or strain. So maybe you're able to find a tone. Um, so what I would do for me is I would match that tone in the Shruti box and I would work with that tone when toning. So for example, I'll try it right now. Uh... Sounds like an E to me, let's see. Uh, uh, uh. No, that wasn't it. Uh, it's an F. Uh, so I open the F and the C. So if you know your keys on a piano, then you know what I'm talking about. Because this is basically the shape of a piano chord or a piano um, scale, starting with C <clears throat> and going up to C. So it's a full octave. All right, so I'm going to work with the key of F today. F and C, F chord. So first of all, you use the Shruti box by squeezing this bellow, and it generates air to move through these little openings, which create the tone. So I'm simply going to start with some basic Ah sounds, relaxing the jaw, and I'm not working with any particular rhythm right now. I'm just feeling what it takes to create the sound through the Shruti box with the amount of squeezing that I need to do. So if I squeeze too slow, the, the sound might run out. So. If I just stop squeezing, the sound goes away. So the key is to find a rhythm in squeezing the Shruti box to generate a tone. And you'll notice it'll get louder if I squeeze faster, just a little bit louder. So I want to kind of keep it soft. So I'm going to squeeze a little slower. Relaxing the jaw, 
taking a deep breath in and releasing so I'm gonna be working with this tone of the F breath in times. Sometimes it's easier to just start with the one tone, so I'll just, I'll just start with the F and I'll close the C note. And this time I'm going to slide around that note just to show you how you find that note and lock in with that pitch. Starting a little higher. So I was going from the C down to the F. slide a little bit from above to below the F and back to the F. So I was sliding down to a, a D sharp on that lower note. Uh, uh, from that low. We got our we got our F. Uh, so now we're gonna bring in a little bit of rhythm, and I am just gonna say it's always challenging at first for people to keep a rhythm and sing at the same time if if they're new to this. I actually thought in the beginning, I'm like, I'm not gonna be able to sing and play the drum at the same time. There was just too much going on, and I felt like. Every time I would try to sing and play the drum at the same time, I would go out of um, rhythm. But the thing is, it just takes practice, okay? So we're gonna start really simple. And if you don't have a shaker, like one of these nice little egg shakers, you can also just use the rhythm of patting your knee like that, or you could use your fingers snapping. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in the tone. And you're gonna probably be tempted to, to keep the same rhythm as with this hand, squeezing it. I noticed that tendency, and that's fine. If that helps you to stay in rhythm, that's fine. So if you watch my fingers, you'll notice I might do that, okay? We'll 
slow it down a little. That's a good one. So I'm going to make a melodic, a line of melody, and I'm going to leave space for you to repeat it. So it's going to be call and response. I'll show, I'll show you what I mean. When I leave the space, I'll go, your turn. But then once, once we get it going, I'm going to just leave the space and you're going to fill it in. Here we go. Uh, change it up a little bit. an example of using rhythm, a little bit of rhythm and the drone to create a chant that obviously didn't have any words, but um, it's nice to just start simple, especially if really the main purpose is warming up your voice and toning and opening the voice. Just you, you don't need to move so quickly with bringing words right in right away. Just sounding can be incredibly beneficial, therapeutic, and helpful for opening up the creative channel. So I'm going to just change the key and um, we'll notice just a slight difference. So I'm going from F to G now. So here's the G note. the D, which is part of the G chord. <laughs> Here's the entire G major chord. So the more, the more little holes you open, 
the more air you're going to have to squeeze through it because more air is therefore escaping. So you would notice that I'm going to end up having to squeeze a little faster when before with just two, I don't have to squeeze as fast. Okay, so I'm just going to keep the two open. And this time I'm going to just bring in maybe a phrase. Or I'll do a simple song. How about that? I am opening up in sweet surrender to the luminous love light of the one. That's just the first song that popped up into my head. Okay. We'll start without any rhythm. Because the rhythm kind of keeps you in, locked in, right? Let's just start without the rhythm first, singing at, at our own pace. The pace, I'll lead it. I am opening up in sweet surrender. Again, I am opening up in sweet surrender to the luminous love light of the one again to the luminous love light I'm going to do it on my pace without really any rhythm, very slowly, and then I'll leave a space for you to do it. I am opening up in sweet surrender. Bringing in a little bit of rhythm now. I am opening up in sweet surrender to the luminous love light of one. Your turn. I am opening up in sweet surrender to the luminous love light of one. Again. I am opening up in sweet surrender to the luminous love light of the one. I am opening up in sweet surrender to the luminous love light of the one. I am opening. Listen, I am opening your turn. Opening up in sweet surrender to the Lord. 
the next phrase is, we are rising up like a phoenix from the fire. We are rising up like a phoenix from the fire. Brothers and sisters, spread your wings and fly higher. We are rising up like a phoenix from the fire. Brothers and sisters, spread your wings and fly higher. We are rising up. We are rising up. We are rising up. We are rising up. We are rising up like a phoenix from the fire. Brothers and sisters, spread your wings and fly high. We are rising up like a phoenix from the fire. Brothers and sisters, spread your wings and fly high. We are rising up. We are rising up. We are rising Just creating some variation of rhythms, patting my head, snap, patting my legs, snapping my finger, not patting my head, or patting my chest. I really like that rhythm. We are rising up like the phoenix from the fire. Brothers and sisters, spread your wings and fly high. We are rising up like a phoenix from the fire. Brothers and sisters, spread your wings and fly higher. So if that's too much to sing and do that at the same time, that's totally okay. So you could start by bringing in rhythm and just toning like this. just a little bit of practice of toning and bringing in rhythm with the toning and then bringing in words with the rhythm. It takes practice and yeah, it, it gets both the brain sides of the brain moving. So it can be very tricky at first. So good work. Thanks for showing up and doing this practice and keep it up. Bye now.